नमस्कार नायर सब गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी सती सर अरे नाइस टू सी यू सती सर गुड मॉर्निंग आई लाइक योर स्माइल उदय लवली दिलन मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग ट्रेडमार्क यू नो ऑल ओवर दर्ल्ड Yes, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Francis, good morning. Fender. Good morning, Fender. Fender tires renewed. Thank you. Narotra ji, Fender tire. Narotra sir, I like your new look. Yeah, Frenchy. <laughs> no, there was one uh, uh, Robert in Cochin. He used to say, Narotra's mustache looks like. Uh, Fender of the Tug Shakten, different Tugs and tires. I can see Captain Bardwaj here. Captain, uh, good morning, Doctor Saxena. Good morning, sir. Hey, good morning, morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Captain. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I think our VC is at uh, Doctor Malini. Good morning to you, ma'am. Good morning to everybody. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Yeah. morning. Doctor Malini, how are you? So far, so good. Like everybody else, I guess. <laughs> are you Are you connected with the AM Alumni Association? Pardon? Yeah, AM Alumni Association. Yes. Are you connected with them? No, I can't hear you distinctly. Are you connected with the association, Al Alumni Association? Yes, I am invited. <laughs> no, no, AIM. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. AIM, yes. I am connected with the association, yes, but okay. not as an office bearer. Just... Yeah, but I, I hardly see you. But where are they? They are based in Mumbai. From Mumbai only they operate. Yeah, at Mumbai I've been going for their uh, reunions, their okay. meetings. Okay. But okay. now I am in Chennai. So you shifted Chennai now, okay? Yeah, yeah I have. My headquarters is Chennai. They they have some uh, boys there also. I believe very inactive. <laughs> so I so think that we have to make them active, and we're waiting for the situation to get better. I'll uh, try and get somebody to contact you. Sure. Is uh, is uh, 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 Mr. Joshi I here as well, ma'am? Pardon? I think uh, Mr. Joshi is here as well, uh, CMD SCI. Is she there? Ma'am, are you there? I can see your name on the screen. Yeah, she must. She must be joining. Okay. Good morning, Shakti Sir. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Nice to see uh, Mr. Shankar on the screen. K Shankar. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. How are you? How is Chennai? I am in Zurich. Oh, you are in Zurich. Okay, you yes. ran away. <laughs> Once I came, you ran away. <laughs> Shankar, you are lucky Suresh. man. Good morning, morning sir. Suresh. Good morning. Sir. Enjoy, enjoy the cold. <laughs> yeah, but we've been having lovely weather in Chennai till this morning. You know, yeah. ma'am, then during the weather is so beautiful, but I believe the pandemic is on the rise. So, oh, restrictions in Switzerland are likely to be brought in again. No, so but, in uh, India, in India, the there's no pandemic anymore. All of us <laughs> walk around without masks. <laughs> Okay, Wait. it's ten o'clock. Shall we? Uh, hi, shall we hi, Vijay. Hello. Hi. Hi, sir. Good evening. Uh, good morning, rather. Sorry. Good morning, good morning to all uh, others also. Shankar, is up early. Ma'am, it's ten o one. Shall we start? Good morning, Vijay. Morning, Shankar, sir. Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, can i can i call this meeting to order please can i request uh, everybody other than the speakers to please mute their mics
uh, it's 10 or 2 i think we are 2 minutes behind schedule maybe it's time to start it shows 31 people are in the waiting room they can be entered yes oh. i see i see a Rashmi, can you just uh, uh, yes sir we are we are uh, making them in sir yeah uh, can you just uh... Okay. Uh, can we can we mute our mics, uh, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, good morning. A very warm welcome to our uh, chief guest, Dr. Malini Shankar, uh, for joining us today. Uh, warm welcome to all the past presidents, the governing council members, members of this institute. We've got uh, Captain Bardwaj. Uh, and others joining us uh, from MASA, AEMTC, uh, and from NMIS. I think Dr. Saxena wears the hat today of uh, the principal of the NMIS. So uh, Dr. Saxena, welcome to you as well. Um, a, short, a short program today to uh, highlight or to bring together several initiatives that the Institute has taken over the past several months uh, come to a culmination today. Uh, let me start off with let me start off with uh, the uh, establishment of the IMU chair, uh, Dr. Malini Shankar. We are uh, I'm personally grateful to you uh, as I extend you a warm welcome uh, for the drive, the initiative in making this happen, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it was on a video conferencing interaction sometime in December last year that uh, Dr. Malini uh, mooted the idea of establishing an IMEI chair at the IMU. Uh, we saw great possibilities. Uh, this was also an initiative that Dr. Saxena had undertaken maybe seven, eight years ago, Dr. Saxena, if I'm not wrong. Uh, and for both the IMU and IMEI, this becomes a landmark event. Uh, I'm sure this is going to uh, further our interest in promoting uh, marine engineering. I think it's a big uh, step for the IMU to have accepted us. Uh, Dr. Malini will talk about this uh, a little later. I'd also request you, ma'am, to uh, launch our digital uh, MER uh, later uh, today. Uh, so the the MER, uh, we proudly say, every marine engineer of the, or every member of this institute proudly says that the MER is the only journal of this uh, industry. Personally, I'm very uh, upset when people call it a magazine. So <laughs> it's a journal, it's, uh, it's a technical journal, it's the only journal in the industry. Uh, it is by the members, for the members. And I think, uh, I think the MER under uh, Dr. Balaji, who's director of the IMU campus, uh, his team has done a wonderful job. Getting a digital flipbook version of the MER has been something that we've been speaking about for the last six or eight years. Uh, I was editor of this journal from 13 to 15. Uh, but compliments to Mr. Vainath, uh, heading the subcommittee, Dr. Balaji, uh, Rashmi Tiwari, and others in the uh, subcommittees that have worked so hard to make this a flipbook. So what this really means is that the process of going, uh, of being technology driven in the IMEI has uh, really started in a big way. Uh, so the full credit for that must go to the pandemic really, uh, not to any one of us here. It has forced us into these digital webinars, our GC meetings, et cetera. So that, uh, that is a landmark by itself. Uh, also, our first batch of IMEI students from the Narada Murarji Institute of Shipping has passed out. Dr. Saxena is going to talk uh, about the impact of such courses for marine engineers. Uh, we are going to have a short uh, distribution prize and certificate distribution ceremony. Two other tie-ups in the industry uh, are being announced today, the way, and I believe that's the way to go. The uh, AEMTC, the Anglo Eastern uh, Training Center, known for its excellence, uh, done some great work. My dear friend uh, Francis Akara there is uh, heading the engineering part of it. And I think the IME and uh, AMETC have tied up to bring specialized courses for our members. So do with MASA, and uh, I know Captain Basin, uh, Captain Bhardwaj, and the rest of you have done a lot of work behind the scenes. 
uh, I must also place on record the, uh, the uh, immense amount of work that Bombay branch and Mr. Jain, Vijendra Jain, your new president, have put in to get these things uh, up and running. So uh, uh, hearty congratulations. I think I've overstepped my three minute limit. Uh, Dr. Malini Shankar, over to you. And uh, I'm once again, a very warm welcome. Personally, it's been a pleasure to interact with you over the last nine months to uh, see this day come through. Thank you, Mr. Uday Purohit, President and Office Bearers of the IMEI, members of various maritime associations, including NUSI, which, I, which technically is not an association, but we count you as one of us, uh, friends of the maritime industry and of the entire maritime sector. I'm delighted to be here amidst you, although virtually. I'm also delighted to be able to rejuvenate the partnership between the university and the alumni of its erstwhile institutions. On behalf of the entire IMU community, I'm deeply grateful to IMEI and particularly the president, Mr. Uday Purohit, the Mumbai branch, the governing council of the IMEI and the entire team of members who have made this partnership possible. Marine engineering, as we all know, is an applied field, not one of basic sciences. Therefore, research needs to necessarily involve partners in the industry. The chair, IMEI chair that is being established is focused on enabling and facilitating the identification of research projects in the industry that can be carried out in the IMU by the faculty, teaching staff and the researchers, and from which interns and students can benefit immensely. By doing so, we would strive to achieve triple benefits, working on projects that will be useful to the industry, providing an opportunity to future mariners to work on live projects, and most importantly, from my point of view, building the capacity of the university to undertake quality research and thereby achieve its goals of being a resource center for the maritime sector. I would like to see the Indian Maritime University to be the go-to institution for all problem solving related to the sector. And I would like IMEI to be a partner in this voyage. I'm reminded of our Audrey Hepburn's quote, the famous actor. She said, as you grow older, you will discover that you have two hands, one for helping yourself and the other for helping others. That is precisely what the IMEI has set out to do. And the maritime community will be thankful for this gesture and proud of this gesture. It has been a pleasure working with the IMEI and I look forward to a continued association for mutual benefits of everybody. Thank you once again for inviting me to this August meeting and inviting me to share my thoughts. Wish you the very, very best. Thank you. Dr. Raju Balaji, can you, uh, can you take over please? Yeah, uh, thank you. I'll, I'll speak a few words and then pass it on to Rashmi. Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. Malini Shankar, Shri Uday Parohit, fellow men and women from Marine Fraternity and friends, a very good morning to you all. Swadhyaya Pravachanabhyam na Pramaditabhyam, the Upanishads, they say that learning and dissemination of knowledge must never be abandoned. This applies to all the institutions which are present here today for an array of events. I am duty bound to deliberate on two of them. One, the launch of the journal management system and the flipbook version of MER. And the other, the convergence on the establishment of a marine engineering chair at IMU, supported by IMEI. First on the flipbook. The flipbook is a natural evolution for a journal like MER. The digital technology enables us to reach out through different forums, connect and disseminate. This is in line with that. But the bigger dream is to mature MER into a respectable journal for researchers to publish their work. In the coming decade, at least one annual edition must be a collection of peer reviewed studies by researchers. This I believe is a doable dream. The journal management system is a step towards that. 
I place my appreciation to Uday and his governing team at IMEI, who have been very supportive of this. The next is the establishment of the chair in IMU. This again is an evolution. A marine engineering chair in a maritime university has to happen. On this, our gratitude must be with Dr. Malini Shankar, who has taken the idea with a purpose swiftly through the maze of administrative labyrinths, where many a minotaur would have stunned such ideas. Washington Irving, the writer, he said, great minds have purposes, others have wishes. In the confluence of thoughts between IMU and IMEI, we see great minds with great purposes. The vision we will see at the end of the decade in 2030 will have a narrative. The narrative will still have the marine engineer, IMU and IMEI with a purpose for the nation and for the planet. Now I flip back to the EMEA and will request Rashmi to walk us through the JMS and the EMEA. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. I request Dr. Malini Shankar, ma'am, to launch our MER and journal management system. Ma'am, please. Madam, you're mute. Yeah, is it visible now? Because I have launched it. Is no, ma'am, you have to share the screen and then it will be visible okay, now. Okay, okay, okay. Let me do it again then. Okay. Share the screen. Yeah. Visible now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. You just, ma'am, can you please go to the issues and uh, flip on the first PDF? View issue. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I had done it, but uh, while sharing, I think it's gone off. Yeah. Okay. It's okay, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for guiding sure. me through. Yeah. Thank you so much, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Please stop sharing, ma'am, so I can share my screen. Can we all put our hands together? And applaud the team of uh, Raju yes. Balaji, Mr. Vainath, Rajini, on this tremendous achievement. Yeah. Okay. And my felicitations to the team too. Thank you so much, ma'am. So now I am going to give a walkthrough of the JMS and uh, flipbook, MER flipbook part. Is it visible? Yes, yes, it is visible now. Please go ahead. Yeah. So this is our homepage. We have these tabs where you can find the home here. You can find three issues, latest three issues. Here is the clicking option where you can view all the issues, previous issues. Here we have written about MER and some points about the Institute. Here you can see all the issues. We also have the option to contribute articles and uh, you can also download the article format from here and you can go through that. 
This is the editorial board. Okay. Here we can see the list of issues and without registration, one cannot see the full issue of it. One has to register first through the user login option. We can share the credit, we can share all the details with the member very soon. And if the member want to see the entire PDF, he can click, he or she can click on the view issue panel and then he can able to see the flipbook. <coughs> Here also, we have also an option of download at the right hand side bottom corner. One can also download the PDF, the entire version of the PDF. Here we can see the content part. One can see, one can find any word, one can type any word and find in the entire this PDF. Like if we want to see this particular article, we can go directly to that page and read that article only. We also have some slots of advertisement for our sponsors. These two and here also. And the further details we will share with our members very soon. Which means this, uh, is this available on a, on a mobile device? Yes, sir, it is. Can you please explain that as well? Sir, one has to go to imarmerjournal.in URL. If someone goes to this, there is an option of, just a moment, so let me. So there is uh, there are two options, admin login, which is for editor and for me, and there is user login. So for user login, one has to register by creating an account with the basic details. Once a member can register, he can easily log into that portal, sir, in the mobile device as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Yes. Okay, thank you, Rachel. Okay, sir. thank you so much, sir. Okay, can you stop sharing your screen? Yes. Can you stop sharing your screen? Yes, sir, just a moment. I'm it's at the top somewhere. Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, uh, Mr. Sunil Kumar, um, I'm a member. Can you please uh, take us through uh, to our next uh, section, which is the uh, announcement of the uh, tie up with uh, the Anglo Eastern Maritime uh, Training Center. So Mr. Sunil Kumar, please. Yeah, thank you so much. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, actually, keeping in mind the technological advancements and the requirement of enhancing managerial capability of people serving the maritime industry in December 2019, a uh, training subcommittee was formed at IMEI Mumbai branch to work on value-added courses for the industry. 
we developed three courses in the first phase. First one was automation and control for marine engineers and ETOs. The second one was hydraulics and pneumatics for marine engineers and again ETOs. And the third one was one year management program for the marine industry as a whole. Like anybody could join this management program. We conducted our first course on automation uh, in December 2019 with an experienced faculty from the industry. Subsequently, we commenced courses on hydraulics and management program under tie up with talk technique and NMIMS respectively. Now, based on the increasing demand of automation course, we have made tie up with Anglo Eastern Maritime Training Center, India which is the pioneer in maritime education and training dedicated to offer high value added courses and the skill development courses based training to the seafarers and other maritime personnel as a recognition and appreciation for the contribution to maritime training they have received awards from lloyd list sea trade dg shipping IHS Market London and other prestigious maritime establishments. I have the privilege to introduce Mr. Francis Akara, the head of engineering studies of Anglo Eastern, who is the only prime, MAN Prime Cell certified trainer other than employees of MAN Energy Solution for Electronic Engines, is also an award winner of Maritime Choice Awards for Indian seafarers. May I invite Mr. Francis to give a review of the cooperation in the automation course with IME. Over to Mr. Francis. Thank you, Sunil, for a wonderful introduction about the training center and uh, myself. Much appreciated. And I'm extremely happy and privileged to represent anglo Eastern Training Center on this auspicious occasion of IME's history. Way back in 2019, we went with a joint venture to train our engineers to train on automation and control system. And of course, due to the pandemic, we could not uh, continue further. But however, now we are in a position to deliver the automation courses, those who are even sitting far. Technology, like Sunil mentioned, is advancing at a very high pace. Earlier days, there was a inertia, there was a lag between a short technology integrating into the ship technology. Nowadays, the seamless integration of technology advancement that is in a shore with the ship equipment. Ships technology is also improving quite a, quite a fast pace. Earlier, we used to have liquid fuel for the propulsion. Now we've got LPG, LNG, methanol, even ammonia coming as a fuel. But automation is the backbone of all these uh, processes, which makes a ship operation environmentally friendly and economically viable. So keeping this in mind, we have developed a five-day training program for the marine engineers, covering the mostly the automation process and the PLC part. So I just will take you through the uh, program that we do here. So today we are very happy that we are going to have a tie up with the Institute of Marine Engineers and Anglo Eastern uh, to conduct the uh, automation training program for our engineers, keeping in mind Indian engineers should not be second to none. So bringing them to the forefront of the technology makes their employability and their value in the maritime industry. So besides the Institute of Mother Engineers cooperation, anglo has got cooperation accreditation from all these bodies. I'm not going through much into it. Most of you will know it. And we are the only institute having tie up with the uh, um, engine manufacturers, that is MAN, WinGD, and Artiflex to conduct their training in our center and we issue their certificates. So in the similar manner, we will be issuing a certificate jointly with IME and Anglo Eastern for our boys. So that's the first uh, batch, Mr. Ajit Ketty, another well-renowned trainer. 
and then Mr. David and Mr. Jane has taken a lot of initiative to get this thing happening. And of course, thank you very much uh, for the effort taken by IME members to happen this for the good of engine, Indian and marine engineers. So the main topics that is covered here, uh, mostly uh, integration of theory uh, with applied practical aspects in the automation field. So when you talk about automation field, be it a liquid level, be it a pressure control, be it a temperature control, all being controlled by various uh, uh, monitoring devices, instrumentation devices, and PLCs. So now we are moving towards the uh, digital technology. So it is very important that we integrate our engineers with this technology to make them smarter and equal as any other engineer coming from any other country. So this five-day five day program uh, started with a little bit of a theory understanding the signal, how to convert the signals into uh, the PLC systems. When something goes wrong, what the engineers can do, of course, you know, what is important is if they can fix by themselves, we can avoid a service call or we can avoid a uh, delay in the ship operation. So that is what mostly we are looking at. Our training is mostly focused on application of the technology and in case there's a problem, how they will troubleshoot by themselves, looking at the drawing, looking at the, um, the logic charts and things like that. So in order to cover all these topics, what we have, we've got all lot of equipments here. So if you look at on the left side, we've got a temperature control system, we've got the pressure control system, we've got a level control system. So basically all the ship operation can be controlled with, generally with all these things. And then of course, it is the PID system which is being controlled uh, in most of the processes. So we also use this system as a level in the bo uh, boiler. This can be any temperatures in the system. Now, if you look at the bottom, we've got an inert gas system, which is an actually running system with, uh, of course, the compressed air, but the automation part of it has been well taken care. So what they study here about the PID control, PID control system with the different kinds of controllers are put into, into practice. And we also got a facility whereby we can introduce a little bit of a fault and the fault finding threshold and fault finding skills are honed in the training program. So that is why we make them into a hands-on engineer whereby they can solve the issues by themselves. So all lot of equipments also there here, if you look at here, they themselves make this process, they wire up, they give you a circuit to them. They will fix it. Then we will introduce fault into the system. We make sure that there is no uh, sufficient milliampere supply coming in. So they need to find out is a process problem or it is a monitoring device problem kind of thing. So this is a sequential operation of a troubleshooting. That is what we introduced into the training program. So all kind of equipments have been used. I just put up a little picture there. And of course, like Sunil mentioned, all lots of award for the good work that we do for the industry. Yeah, so I've been asked to restrict uh, only with this training program. Otherwise, I could have just shown what else we have here. We've got a prime server academy having a, a cooperation with um, a man. So all the electronic engine programs are conducted in India. So we don't have to send our engineers to abroad for training, undergoing the training. So they themselves come into the training. We have also got dual fuel engine training for the uh, WinCD, which is the latest technology. Also for Artiflex Vatsila. And then a, a lot of them, a lot of lot more of them. So, like Sunil mentioned, we con, uh, we have a very good uh, presence in the technology training for the marine engineers to make them the best in the industry. With this, I thank all IME members, officials, Vijendra, Mr. Purohit, Sunil, and all other officials to give me this opportunity to present the joint cooperation, and wish all the Indian marine engineers best of luck and best career ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Francis. Uh, Francis, uh, once you stop sharing, uh, Director of Training at uh, IMEI, uh, Mohan, are you there? Uh, yes, sir, I am here. Uh, I'd request Mr. Mohan Pal Singh, Director of Training at uh, IMEI to uh, take over now for the next segment, which is the uh, tie up with MASA for uh, further training. Uh, over to you, Mohan. Thank you. Uh, respected chair, uh, chief guest, Dr. Malini Sankara here. 
and the august gathering uh, gathering uh, it is my pleasure to bring that the uh, collaboration with the masa i am mean, we are going to come with the basically more of your training courses which uh, my colleague sanjay that uh, also basically mention about uh, mumbai branch coming out various different different trainings we uh, from head office we will be very, very much complement uh, these uh, training further and in that step we have basically uh, tie up with the um, memorandum of understanding with masa um, maritime academy chennai and it is my pleasure to bring basically the uh, tie up with the chennai uh, chennai uh, masa branch and in this process we would be basically developing designing developing and delivering various course uh, courses where masa would be very much uh, a partner with us in this process we have basically started uh, first uh, course which we have planned very soon which will be enrolled Uh, for the basically electronic engine familiarization course and this is mainly for me type me type of engines maybe in the later part we will be very much uh, including more of your such trainings which will be benefiting the marine uh, maritime fraternity and this uh, these courses will be most cost effective because many of these such courses they are not uh, Uh, they require a lot of resources and by tie uh, by basically tying up with your masa we would like to bring these courses uh, to uh, all our members as well as maritime fraternity not only maritime fraternity but the companies who are basically having a resource uh, lack of resource or basically the limited number of candidates them they can also very much utilize our these courses for to training uh, to train their basically candidates with this i would uh, request captain basin to uh, give a introduction about the first course which we are very soon going to launch thank you very much ah uh, thank you ji uh I shall speak now. Yes, Captain. Please go ahead. Thank you, Udayji. Uh, Honourable Mrs. Malini Shankar, Chief Guest, August Gathering, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are very happy in collaboration with IMI to jointly deliver engineering program, ME course, as Mohan Singh ji just now said. the the collaboration only authenticates the high quality of our engineering program that are conducted at our masa academy in chennai the mou which we are discussing today it will pave the way for offering many other courses jointly in the future with imei like me gi and another one which is under development this particular course to speak a little bit more about this particular course uh, this collaboration is for 3 days me engine familiarization course which is for operational level engineers or kind of a refresher course which is come in collaboration the main important thing we have priced it very nominally to ensure our engineers are more competent and preferred in the global crew supply market it is completely online with access to the simulator from cloud this also makes it easy and convenient for students and cost saving in travel and stay and quality remains uncompromised the main focus which we were very happy when the masa was discussing with imei the quality remains uncompromised we have been very successfully conducting the full 5 day me engine course for over 2 years from the masa academy a last year was fully online and big companies are very satisfied with it i am sure this course with the help of imei will be able to make it big success 
I would especially like to mention thanks to Mr. Jain, who has been constantly calling me and discussing this thing. And of course, Mr. Mohan Singh Ji. But our own, our own MMA Academy, my humble thanks to Dr. Bhardwaj and our engine engineering head, Mr. Patro and his team for beautifully doing this course over the years. I would also like to add our board of directors of MASA, our MTRF chairman, Minister Manish Pradhan, our governing council chairman, Mr. Deepu, and of course, our CEO, Mr. Captain Shiv Halbe. Overall, I thank everyone for the other way and I look forward to the other areas of interest. Jai Hind. Thank you. Thank you, Captain Vasin. Thank you so much. Uh, for our last segment, which is the uh, Narada Morarji Institute of Shipping related, uh, can I call upon you, uh, Vijendra, to take over the last segment uh, through to the distribution of uh, certificates? Vijendra, over to you. Thank you, Uday. Respected Chief Guest, Dr. Malni Shankar, uh, Vice <laughs> Chancellor IMU and Chairperson of the National Shipping Board. Dr. B.K. Saxena, Chairman of the NMIS, Captain M.P. Basin, Chairman Masa, Mr. Francis Sakara, Director and Vice Principal AEMTC, dignitaries and friends. It's my honor and privilege to speak to you today at the culmination of the inaugural course of uh, the one-year program which we have started on ship management and logistics. The response for this inaugural course was far more than what we had expected. Being an online course, we were able to get tremendous diversity in the students of this inaugural batch. A working professional joined us from Dubai, a lady candidate, students, naval architects, superintendents, sailing engineers, sailing deck officers, port agents, and a whole lot of other people, including professors, teachers, had all enrolled to take advantage of this offering of the IMEI, some of whom are here online today to enjoy the graduation ceremony. In fact, we commenced this course in September 2020. Uh, we not only had a full batch, but we also had candidates enrolling in the wait list for the next batch, which forced us to start an intermediate batch in March this year. It was a learning experience, frankly, for us as well. And we were committed to give the candidates the best, or shall I say, the maximum possible. We innovated and started a learning management system for this batch, which had many features, such as the ability to store notes, assignments, feedback, and more importantly, recorded lectures all in the cloud. These recorded lectures were particularly helpful for candidates who were sailing or were working professionals and hence missed classes due to their work commitments. They were able to view these recorded lectures as a, at a suitable time, which was comfortable to them. We designed this course with a lot of flexibility whereby sailing professionals could complete these two semesters over a two year period in case their, their sailing or their contracts did not allow them to complete it in the normal one year period. I am happy that the graduating candidates today could devote time from their professional lives through this last one year to attend the classes, study, appear, and pass, uh, shall I dare say, the difficult examinations uh, set for them. The feedback from the candidates during the course has been encouraging for us, and there is a sense of fulfillment when they say that they have picked up knowledge which will be of use to them in their lives ahead. Despite the online classes, we can see a sense of bonding and camaraderie between the diverse, very diverse graduating students, uh, which hopefully will take this forward in their lives ahead. After this encouraging experience, we intend to carry this on and take this opportunity to announce registrations for the next batch to be commenced in November later this year. Before I close, I wish to thank a number of persons who have made this course possible. Initially, it was the drive of Captain Pradeep Korea, the past chairman of NMIS, along with Mr. Sardul Singh, the erstwhile director of NMIS, who were responsible for the culmination and endorsement of the MOU between NMIS and IME. A big thank you to Dr. Surjit Singh Dhingra, 
the current director at NMIS, who has been completely involved in ironing out all the chinks and providing such wonderful support 24 by 7, and without whom nothing would have been possible. Thank you to the complete team at the Mumbai branch of the IMEI for making this possible. Mr. David Birvatkar, who unfortunately could not join us today as it happens to be his new year. To Mr. De David Birvatkar, the head of the specially formed subcommittee uh, to look after the training needs, a heartfelt thank you. Despite his over busy schedule in JESCO, he took time off to look into each and every issue in a timely manner. He was ably supported by Mr. Sunil Kumar and Mr. Rajesh Kasarkod, who despite their busy professional lives could be seen attending the we weekend lectures just to make sure things went off smoothly and in the perfect way that IMEI wanted them. A thank you to the support staff, uh, Mrs. Nita and uh, Nimisha, who also continuously provided uh, hands-on support. Last but not least, my thanks to Dr. BK Saxena, who, has encouraged, who encouraged me when I went to him with this seed almost two years back. His continuous guidance and encouragement has made it possible. With these words, I would now request uh, Dr. B.K. Saxena, uh, Chairman of the NMIS, to say a few words, please. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Vijendra, and uh, thank you for the nice words. Uh, uh, Dr. Malini Shankar, uh, uh, Uday Prohit, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, greetings uh, from my side. Uh, I take this opportunity to acknowledge the presence of some of my seniors from the Institute of Marine Engineers as well as from DMAT, starting with uh, Mr. Taneja, uh, he's there, and uh, of course, Mr. Shankar, Mr. Chidambaram, uh, Sati Arora, R.C. Mahajan. So apologies if I have missed out uh, somebody. Yeah. Uh, compliments to IMEI for all these various initiatives that have been taken. Yeah. I'm especially happy about uh, establishment of the, uh, the chair. Okay. I've been always a very vocal promoter of uh, research and bringing in academia and the industry together. So I'm sure this initiative will uh, take that uh, forward. As far as this course of NMIS is concerned, it, as Vijendra said, it was about two years back uh, when we met, uh, and I was then the chairman of the academic council. And uh, we realized that, uh, see, unless a bit of uh, commercial knowledge uh, is given to the marine engineers, uh, you know, they cannot be a very useful persons on ship. You see, it is, it is imperative that they have that. And uh, with that in mind, uh, we developed this particular uh, program. And we needed it to be a little flexible. So we made it into two semesters. The first one was uh, uh, with four uh, subjects, uh, which were compulsory, starting with the shipping practice, uh, law of sea transport, principles of management, and uh, of course, the budgeting and all that, you know, the, the financial part. And for the second semester, we had a basket of uh, various uh, commercial topics, uh, as well as uh, non-commercial like maritime regulation. Uh, we also had shipping management, uh, insurance, chartering. So it was a very good uh, basket. And uh, they were to take two. And I'm happy that uh, some of the students realized the importance and they, on their own, they uh, selected some more subjects than two, you know, although the minimum were two which were required. Okay. So uh, the first batch, uh, as Vijendra said, was a very good uh, mix. But I think he forgot to say that one of, one of the candidate was uh, a CA. Yeah. It, it, I mean, I was surprised, you know, a CA who had nothing to do with shipping. And uh, the person was there. And uh, of course, I was teaching and I interacted substantially with the person. <laughs> so it's good. And uh, my compliments to... Uh, uh, the, the the first batch uh, people who will be getting their certificates and especially those who uh, uh, secured uh, positions. Uh, I want to acknowledge the contribution of uh, the admin staff, both from the 
uh, NMIS as well as uh, from uh, IMEI and uh, the head, the president head of the Academy Council, Dr. Uh, Captain Rahul Bhargav, uh, because uh, these people have come together. Personally, for myself, it has been uh, very, very satisfactory, uh, satisfying, because both uh, NMIS and uh, IMEI have been part of me for the last maybe 35 years or so. So it was a, it was a good thing. I take uh, this opportunity to request uh, the industry people who are there to give white publicity to this uh, particular program because it's a very unique uh, initiative and I'm sure not only the marine engineers but even the nautical officers as we have seen already there were some of them could benefit from this. So I would sincerely request each one of you to please pass on this message so that more and more uh, cross-section of our uh, seafarers and, and people who are working in the industry, in the office and all, could benefit from this. So with these words, once again, uh, compliments to the team of IMEI, uh, headed, headed by uh, Uday Purohit, and uh, my best wishes to Vijendra Jain, who would be taking over as the new president, and I'm sure you will take uh, IMEI to still bigger heights to, than what uh, Uday Purohit has brought in. And, and uh, all the best to each one of you. And thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Dr. Saxena Saab, uh, for your kind words. And uh, uh, now we come to the last uh, section of our program today, which is the prize distribution or the graduation ceremony of this uh, batch, inaugural batch. Online functions, you know, come with the challenges, come with challenges. And one very serious challenge is how to hold a prize distribution ceremony online, where the candidates are in one place, the certificates and mementos are in a second, and the chief guest is in a third place. Uh, to get around this problem, we have created a small presentation, which carries the names and certificates of all the graduating candidates. I'm afraid we will not be able to hand over these personally, uh, physically to you today, but we will display this presentation on the screen. I request Rashmi, our MC for today, uh, to run through this presentation and simultaneously seek the blessings of our chief guest so that we may deliver the actual endorsed certificates and mementos to the toppers and other recipients later after this function is over. Thank you, sir. So coming to our last segment, which is prize distribution ceremony for the inaugural batch of the NMIS IMEI course on ship management and logistics. So these are the candidates, Mr. Asim Malay, Mr. Varun Kodnali, Mr. Vikas Agarwal, Mr. Gajanan B. Bhosle, Mr. Shashank Amarnath, Adash Vishwas Deshmukh, Jonathan A. Matam, Anant Ajit Kumar, Jodeb Mandal, Ajay Gautam, and there are 10 subject vice toppers, Mr. Asim Mali who stood first in chartering and right anchor. Mr. Shashank Amarnath stood first in risk management and marine insurance. Mr. Shashank Amarnath stood first in ship management, including technical aspects. Mr. Varun Kodnani stood first in economics of sea transport. Mr. Jonathan A. Martin stood first in logistics and multimodal. Mr. Varun Kodnani stood first in costing and budgeting. Mr. Adarsh Vishwas Deshmukh stood first in costing and budgeting. Mr. Varun Kodnani stood first in shipping practices. Mr. Asim Mali 
stood first in principles of management. Mr. Varun Podnani stood first in law of, law of sea transport. There are three ranker certificates, first, second, and third. Mr. Varun Kodnani stood first in the one-year online program of ship management and logistics. Mr. Shashank Kamana stood second. Mr. Asim Malik stood third. I congratulate all the candidates who came and who got the certificate. And now I request uh, Mr. Uday Purohit, sir, president of IMI, to say, give away the vote of thanks. Sir, please. First of all, I appreciate everybody here uh, um, for making this such a crisp, short uh, function. I promised Dr. Malini Shankar that we'll wrap up in an hour. We are 52 minutes into the program, starting three minutes straight. So my most heartfelt thanks to all the participants for keeping time. Uh, thank you, everybody, for attending this. Dr. Malini Shankar, thank you for taking time off. Dr. Saxena, all uh, our senior members from the IMEI, uh, Vijendra Mohanpal Singh, Francis, Sunil, uh, Captain Basin uh, from Masa, thanks uh, one and all. Uh, have a great uh, week ahead and uh, Jai Hind. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Purohit, I think, yes, it's just 53 minutes into the program. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we will have the person on that chair by the end of this month. Yes, ma'am. That, that would be really fantastic. We have now scheduled the process. I understand that you're holding the first meeting on the 13th. Yes. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for your presence. And uh, always, always uh, wonderful to interact with you. There's so much of energy and so much of learning. Thank you. Thank you. And we look forward to more initiatives. Yeah, ma'am, I was coming to, I just wanted to come on that. You know, this is a very great initiative and it has already set the tone. I'm sure there will be more initiatives. Yes, you have said so on the chat. Thank you, Mr. Sarah. Yes, ma'am. And we will do that also as far as the well-being and seafarers of concern tie up with the IMU. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Uday, sir. Very good. Thank, Thank you, you so much, ma'am. Have a wonderful day, all of you, and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank, you Thank, you. So Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Greetings of you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, great effort by you and your team, huh? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks yeah, for yeah. the support. Well done, uh, Raina. Uh, thank, 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 thank you so much. Uh, thank you for your support and thank you for everyone's support, especially Dr. Raju Uday and Rashmi. Thank you, sir. Sir, can we wrap up the meet now? Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> sure, thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Thank Otherwise, you. we will not stop. You know. <laughs> thank you once again, everybody. Dr. Saxara, uh, <laughs> compliments and greetings to you once again, sir. <laughs> Everyone can unhide their beer glasses now. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's great to see so many friends here. You know, it's very yeah. nice. Wonderful. Thank you. Bye, Thank bye, you, sir. bye, sir. Have a nice day. Bye, bye everybody. Bye, bye, all. Wonderful bye, to bye, see bye, you all. Some yeah. of you after a long, long time. All the That's best great. in all your efforts to take the institute and our profession forward. Yeah. Thank you. Vidhi, sir, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> very good morning, buddy. How are you, sir? Top of the world. Good nice. to see you. Good to see you, sir. Nice to see Mr. Mahajan and uh, Mr. Taneja was there. Yeah, that's yes. so, so nice of them, you know, so nice of them. Okay. Mr. Yeah. Taneja, sir, still there? Has he left? All the best, Fred, in there. And to... I think he's left, yeah. I don't see him now. Vijendra. Yes, sir. And to Mr. Prohe. Sir. So nice to see you. <laughs> Very nice program. Yeah, yeah, good, good job. Okay. All right, everybody. Yeah, so Thank you. Bye. Rai Sab, good morning. I missed you. Thank you so much. My compliments sir, for a job well done and I wish all the best to the institute to continue to do excellent work. 
compliments to you and the entire team of the IME ISA. Thank you. Okay, I'm ending the meeting from here. Thank you all.